and gentlemen, and welcome to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School as the Lady Hillers welcome in Norwood. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Sweetapple on the call. John Ritz on camera. It should be a good battle today between these two TVL rivals. Norwood will start off in the center circle with possession, and the Hillers looking to follow up what was a good performance last week against Westwood, and we are underway here at Hopkinton High School as the Hillers trying to control in Norwood territory. Here comes Margaret Allen with the kick in front, and now rushing in, and a shot, oh. and a near goal by Allie Bird. Great strike from Bird. And Norwood will get to kick it away. The Hillers on the season two, one, and one. Norwood is one, three, and zero. Oh. In play in Norwood territory, Allie Bird trying to turn it around. Up the far side, tracking it down is Catherine Lagasse. And out of play it goes, throw in Norwood. Here comes Norwood trying to rush Hiller's territory. Hiller's quick to turn it over. Ooh, Nick had, Nick had a great run there. Just missed on the connection. Over along the far side. Pass over by Lily York. And it is put out of play. Just gotta check the levels, John. Let me get it. Pass up the near sideline. Pass up field, out in front, tracking it down, Delaney Mick. Chip, chip, chip. Rushing in, shot, goal, Hillers! Comes at 2.20 into the first half, Delaney Mick. Nice, calm, collected, put away. I thought she was gonna chip her. Goalie was way off her line. one nothing, Hopkinton. Tom Skiba, the head coach for the Hillers. Hillers trying to get back to the state championship. They went there last year and lost on a very unfortunate penalty kick. Here comes Hopkinton, a pass up by Lily York. And now it's Allie Bird with the pass up, flying in, and the goalkeeper comes out just before Delaney Mick can get there. Heather Gagliard in net for Norwood. Well, good start for the Hillers, Tom. Very good start for the Hillers. Or, They're, excuse me, Steve. I knew, who you, I knew who you were talking about, too. Good switch of the ball. Yeah, here they come once again. There's a shot, and it's wrapped up by Gagliard. Margie Allen on the shot. A nice day for Hillers girls soccer. The sun is out, temperatures in the 70s. Pass up by Asbro. Hillers working left to right across your screen and their green jerseys out in front. Gagliard comes way out and wraps it up. It's only five minutes in, but so far Hopkinton's midfield is just taking control of the game. Lily York. Yeah. Offsides. Offsides here, yep. Yeah. Delaney Mick got a little aggressive there. Norwood will clear it away about four minutes into the first half. One nothing Hopkinton. Go, 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 go. 
Over to Riley Delaney, now it's Hasbrouk. Hasbrouk rushing in. Nice pass over to Margie Allen. Here comes Allen. Rushing in, shot off the hand of the goalkeeper, still alive. Into the box, Allen with the pass back. And there's a shot by Lily York. And Norwood able to clear it away. Lagos gets the foot in there. Hasbrouk. Off of Allen, we get a whistle here. In favor of the Hillers. Lily York on the free kick. And Lily York's going to have to come out of the game because she has to get rid of those earrings. No jewelry on the field. Hasbrook should put this on net. The keeper is in no man's land. Maria Vassington comes in. Let's see if the defender's going to crank it. I think she's going to try to score here. No, she oh. passed it. A little too much on that one. Yeah, Norwood's goalie is completely out of position. The ball just went completely out of the wall <laughs> along the far side, so we'll get a new one. They have what is typically the outfield fence for the baseball team out there. It went just between one of those cracks in the wall. Hillers trying to maintain control. Some nice footwork there by Bird. Oh, great nutmeg from Bird. And the goalkeeper will wrap up the roller off of Vassington. Gagliard gets rid of it. Hiller is in control so far early in this one. Track down along the far side. Throw in Norwood. And we'll have a throw in for the Hillers. It's taken by Lagasse. Now the pass over to the near side. Tracked down by Riley Delaney. Over to Hasbrock. Hasbrock feeds Allen. Out in front. Here comes uh, Burr. Allie's offsides. Yeah. Just offsides. Clearing it away for Norwood is Tara O'Brien. Stolen away, Hasbrouk. Pass up off of Allen. Hasbrouk up against Samantha Reen, out of play. Throw in Norwood, Reen on the throw in. Back out of play, off of Norwood. Marion Donovan having trouble keeping control. Throw in Hasbrouk. Off of Vassington to the corner. Can she get there? No. Norwood will get to clear it away. Just over eight minutes into this game. A one nothing Hillers lead. Delaney Mick with the first goal of the game. There's a boot up the far side and out of play off the Hillers. Throw in Norwood. On the entry, it'll be Aaron Wagner. Riley Delaney. Pass up. Over to Allen, who feeds it to Hasbrouk. And Hasbrouk trying to get it over to Bird. And we had some offsides here. Yeah, Allen came from an offside position, then touched the ball. Had her at midfield there by Bassington. 
And offsides once again. Yeah. They're just making their runs too early. Everybody's got goal fever. They just need to check back to the ball and then move forward. Asbrock up to Vassington. Stolen away. Nice still there by Reen. Miller's continuing to battle at midfield. Stepping in is Veal. Here comes Veal. Nice pass over out in front. Can anyone get there? No, just wrapped up before Allie Bird could get there. Gagliard gets rid of it along the far side it goes. Out of play Norwood. Up the sideline, couple of Hillers closing in. Out of play Norwood, Delaney Mick on the entry. She'll switch it up. Lagasse on the entry. Over to Sullivan. Trying to get in there. It was Megan Sullivan, Norwood able to clear it out. Here comes the Hillers right back on the attack. The speedy has broke with control. That's it. Be a little selfish there. That's it. Smart play. Just past Allen. Bassington gets it over to Veal. Now into the box. Here comes Mick. And the shot. It's wrapped up. Yeah, you like that play from Hasbrook, though, leading up to that, because she's been putting the ball into the center or down the wing every time. And here she held it and actually drew two defenders towards her. Very heads-up play from the senior. Hiller is really putting the pressure on here in this first 12 minutes. Up one to nothing. Had a play along the near side off of Norwood. Hasbrook on the entry. Bird back to Hasbrouck, centers it up. Header into the box, that'll force Gagliard out. Gagliard's been busy in net so far today. Yes, yeah, she has. She's gonna, if this keeps up, she is gonna work up quite a sweat as a keeper. Off of Riley Delaney, now pass up by Good footwork Veal. from Delaney. Yeah. There's Vassington, fires it up, trying to track it down. Allen, Gagliard comes out, wraps it up. Vassington sends it forward. Allie Bird trying to get there. Good hustle from Bird. Let's see if the girls can keep him pinned in their own defensive end. It's a throw in right at the flag. And Kristen McCluskey has not had to do much today for the Hillers so far. Hopefully she's got sunblock on. Yeah, the field's certainly inundated with sun. I didn't wear mine, so I'll probably get a little burn. Norwood on the entry. Number of headers there before Sullivan gets a foot on it. And it's cleared away. Riley Delaney keeps it in Norwood territory. Strong boot there. Now force Gagliard out. Off of Allen. Now here's Bird. Some good footwork there. Bird over to Allen and offsides. Yep. Yeah, she was onside when she received it, but she came from an offside position as the next person to touch the ball. 
Norwood clears it away. But not for long. Pass up by Sullivan. Bassington rushing in. Megan Sullivan now. Trying to feed it up. Norwood's had all kinds of trouble maintaining any control in Hiller's territory. Pass down by Margaret Allen. Has broke back to Allen. Back and forth we go at midfield. Hasbrook puts it off a Mustang and out of play. It's Norwood's second season in the TVL. There's a pass up along the near side. Margaret Allen trying to track it down. And it's out of play off of Norwood. It went off of Caroline Galvin. You have a corner here, I believe. No, nope, throw. Oh, throw in for the Hillers. Right at the flag. <laughs> There's a boot by Hasbro into the box. Delaney Mick trying to track it down. Pass over to the far side from Sullivan to Lagasse. Good movement, good ball possession from the Hillers. Along their side, Riley Delaney put out off of Allen. 23-40 and counting left to go in the first half. One nothing Hillers. Let's see, McCluskey might touch the ball here. Yes. She, she will. It's her first touch. Riley. She'll go back to Riley Delaney with it. Delaney trying to go to Hasbro along the near sideline. Now here comes Margaret Allen. Pass up. Can anyone get there? No. Olivia O'Connor trying to get to it. That yeah, was a good recovery. She a little had the ball up there. Yeah, trapped under her feet, but good recovery. Up Delaney. the far side, Delaney Mick. Here she comes. Nice move there. Puts it back to Vassington. There's a shot and a wrap by Gagliard. And what you'd like to see, the, the girls are dribbling with their head down. They don't realize the keeper is literally 10 yards off of her line. As soon as the girls get the ball from 30 yards out, they should just take a look at cranking a shot, keep her on her toes. Bassington leaves it for Sullivan. Nice Bird. ball, offsides. Just offsides was Delaney Mick. Norwood will clear it away. Nice job there by Allen. There's McCluskey with her second touch of the game. Riley Delaney over to Allen. Mustang able to get there first. Hasbro. Hasbro just burning through everybody. Here she goes over to Allie Bird. Now Vassington looking for it. Here comes Norwood, passed down by Emmy, Emily Femme. On the far side, Lagos. Yeah, good ball. Front. Here good comes, ball. Yeah, certainly is. Here comes Allie Bird. Rushing in. Shot. Goal. Hillers. Well struck ball. Comes at 21-01 left. Allie Bird makes it 2 to nothing. 
Good speed from Bird there. Yeah, you don't want to see her on a breakaway if you're the opposing team. Must come from her mother's side. <laughs> so when her father watches this and we play Sunday morning, he'll give it to me. So the Hillers with a nice comfortable 2-0 lead. Norwood trying to attack. Out in front of the box. Kluski nearly a little tripped up by that one, able to get it away. It's a good dribble up field by Caroline Galvin, but now here come the Hillers. Asbrock. Norwood trying to put some pressure on. On the far side of the box, that's Giambanco. Out of play it goes. Throw in Norwood, Taylor Brinklow. Hiller is rushing into Norwood territory. Trying to burst through is Emily Murphy. And that'll be wrapped up by McCluskey. Over towards Olivia O'Connor. Well, Norwood's starting to keep a little pressure in Hiller's territory. Connor up the far side off of Bassington. At a play on Norwood. Handful of substitutions for both sides. Gabriela Siri, Tiffany McCullis, and Ashley Butler into the game for Hopkinton. Norwood also making a couple substitutions. Just past the halfway mark of this first half. Two nothing Hillers. Has broke. Has broke rushing in, trying to get it away from Clavin. Offside, Hillers. Norwood will get a free kick. Here comes Sophia Shalmo. Pass up over the corner, out of play. It was off of Murphy and out of play, throwing Norwood. Yeah, a little better possession here the last five minutes for Norwood. Kind of settled down a little bit. They're still impatient, though, once the ball gets to midfield. Into the box. And out of play. Kluski will clear it away. There's a strong boot, but there for the Hillers is Hasbrook. On the near side, here comes Sullivan, or Vassington rather, taken by Norwood. Up the near side, here comes Perloff. Perloff able to get in front of the Mustang. Perlov maintaining control, launches a shot wide left. Good hustle from Ava. She kept the body on the on the ball at all time. Hiller 
your boys in action over at Norwood High School. For what should be a tough battle for them. Along the far side, now here is Butler. Pass back. Butler now. Trying to find Hasbrouck. Nice job by Hasbrouck. Here she comes up to the near side. Put out by Norwood on the throw and it'll be Sesnick. So she'll switch it up, have Hasbrouck throw it in. Back in Hiller's territory it goes. Riley Delaney tracks it down. Off of Hasbro, out of play. Approaching 15 minutes left to go in the first half. Means a 2-0 Hillers lead. Hillers will have the throw in. Hasbro takes a break. Kelly Title on the entry. Siri up the far side. Rushing in. Topo. There's nice shot. A shot and it's in. Well taken ball. It certainly was. Emily Murphy. Yeah, Emily Murphy. It was blinded by the sun a little bit. It was trying to get a number. Emily Murphy with the third goal, comes at 14.34 left to go in the first half. Three nothing Hillers. This game just spinning out of control for Norwood pretty quickly. See, I just don't, I don't understand that. That's not a smart play. All you're doing is giving the ball back to the Hillers. And they've got more players in Norwood's defensive zone doing that. Had a play along the far side, throw in Hopkinton. Some body contact there, Norwood maintains control. Cleared away by Megan Goffredo. Good positioning from O'Connor. Norwood will, or Hillers will have the entry from the far side. Throw in Hopkinton. Back out of play it goes. Hillers throw it in once again. This time towards Sestin. Hillers throw in. There's Sestnik. Pass back over to McCullis. Now along the near side, keeping it in play was Title. Here comes Perlov. Love trying to stick with it. There's a steal. Too many Mustangs in the area. Pass over all the defenders by Wave Glavin. Here comes Butler. Sesnick. Sustick trying to rush in. Now Vassington getting in there. Kulis. Leaves it along the far side and we have a trip here. Those 
Gabriela Siriu is tripped up. Ashley, a little wider, a little wider. She'll air it out. Into the box she goes. Sesnick with the pass back over to Title. Good wheel. Nice footwork there by Meredith Sesnick. Yeah. Couple too many touches though. Hiller's in control, up three nothing as we approach 11 minutes left in the first half. Pass up by Siri over to Murphy. Murphy already has a goal today, might have another one She's here. Offsides. She rushes in and it's too far in front of her, offsides. Clearing it away for Northwood, Tara O'Brien. Murphy trying to stick with it. Good nice. pull back. Yeah. Good cross. Sesnick leaves it. Trying to get it into the box with Butler. Here's Title. Mustang's able to maintain control for the moment. Vassington had something to say about that. A yeah, good defensive step from Vassington. Throw in Norwood. Back into the game for the Hillers. Lexus Veal, Riley Crodenmacher into the game. And also Lily York. Low 10 minutes left to go in the first half. Impressive performance so far by the Hillers, up three to nothing. Hopkinton with a lot of speed out there right now. Nice move there by Butler to allow Lily York to get to the ball now, pass up, rushing in, Perloff. Perloff trying to turn it around, and she'll take a shot, and it's wrapped up by Gagliard. Cannot get as much behind that one as she would have liked to. Over to Perloff. That's it. Shot. Yeah. Right idea. And it goes into the other net. That doesn't count. Half a point. <laughs> I believe that's a field hockey net. Marion Donovan will clear it away. Over to Butler, behind a title. That's it. Cleared back to McCluskey and set it up. Yep. Work it up from the back. Mm, Siri with a hospital ball to McCulis there. Norwood on the free kick. Taking it is Wave Glavin. Airs it out. And this is in the danger zone, but quickly cleared out. That was a great kick by Glavin. It really was. Not handled well by McCluskey. Jumping in front of Sesnick, Tara O'Brien. Put it back in the Hiller's territory. Norwood on the entry. Couple of headers there by the Hillers. Nicely defended. Put out a play along the far side, however. A 
couple substitutions for Norwood. Dermot and Steves into the game. Kluski will clear it away. Airs it out. Boot out of play there. We'll set a couple of spectators. Yep. Throw in Norwood. Siri was just making sure the parents were watching the game. <laughs> Here comes the Hillers, Sesnick, yeah. no one there. Yeah, it's just a wasted ball. Trying to rush in is Perlov. Had a play off of Perlov, or is it? Nope, hopping the ball. All right, take it. Kelly Title on the throw in. Perlov. Trying some footwork there, but was shut down. Butler. Up to L Lily York, and now Perlov rushing Off in. Offsides. Offsides. Yeah, but even she's standing right next to the ref. <laughs> she can see across the field. She just got a little anxious. Emily Fem will clear it away for Norwood. Their side title. <laughs> and nice job by Veal sticking with it. It will get it away from Moave Glavin. Trouble maintaining control in Hiller's territory. Less than four minutes left to go in the first half. Three nothing Hopkinton. Yeah, the last ten minutes, Hopkinton's being in, they've become a little impatient. They're just trying to put long balls through. And there's usually only one forward up top for Hopkinton against three defenders. You're not going to win that battle most of the time. Gabriel Siri on the throw in. An opportunity here, there's a shot there's and it's in. That was Meredith Sesnick <laughs> off the hand of the goaltender, Gagliard, and in. That comes at 3.01 left to go. That was well learned from Sesnick. That was just her alone. Tenacious defense, forced a turnover in the box. Four nothing healers. Delaney Mick, Allie Bird, Emily Murphy, and Meredith Sesnick all have recorded goals here in this first half. That well, could be a long afternoon for Norwood if this keeps up. Throwing Mustangs from the far side. Control, Emily Murphy. Try to pass it up, aired out. Kluski put to work. Hiller's trying to break back into Norwood territory. Here's Ashley Butler with the pass up. Perlov trying to track it down. Gagliard out of the net. Just gets rid of it. 
before Perlov was able to get there. Sesnik trying to burst through. Sesnik. Good hustle. Back over to Butler. Up the far side, Murphy trying to track it down out of play. At the two minute mark of the first half, four nothing Hillers. It's moved by Murphy to get it towards the box and it is kept in play and put out of play off of Sesnik. I think in a game like this, you don't need much stoppage time. <laughs> no. I think the refs will, as soon as their watch chimes, the whistle will hit their lips. Murphy along the far side. Out in front. Gagliard forced way out. She's able to wrap it up. Dove just in front of Perloff. Nice layoff. Well done. Murphy well, rushing one in. One time it. And a little wide to the left there. Well taken. Let the ball do the work. Emily Wagner will get rid of it, or Aaron Wagner will get rid of it for Norwood. Hillers <laughs> working the far side. Lily York with the pass up. That'll do it for the first half. An impressive performance by the Hopkinton Hillers who lead it four to nothing after the first frame, second half coming up next on HCAM. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. We are ready for the second half. A 4 nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers over the Norwood Mustangs. Delaney Mick, Allie Bird, Emily Murphy, Meredith Sesnick all recorded goals in the first half. Good performance by Hopkinton so far, Steve. Yeah, first half, uh, right from the opening whistle, the girls came out. It was basically a continuation from the second half of the Westwood game. Hopkinton totally dominated the run of play. Tom Nappy, Steve Sweet, Apple on the call for Hiller's Girls Varsity Soccer. John Ritz on camera here on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. It's been a beautiful Tuesday afternoon for the girls soccer team so far, up four to nothing. Hillers will now work right to left. Across your screen, they have a throw in. Lily York trying to get in there. Hillers in the box. A shot deflected. That was Alexis Veal. Trying to get in on the scoring action. On the near side, look at us. Track it down, put out a play off of Norwood. Yeah. 
Megan Sullivan with the pass up to Lily York. Sends it back. Lagas able to get in there. Now Sullivan. York out in front, trying to track it down to Laney Mick. Here she comes. On a break, closing in, well shot, done. goal! Took her time, good patience. Kept the ball low. Comes at 38-26, left to go in the second half. Five, nothing Hillers. It's the second goal of the day for Delaney Mick. Hiller's domination so far in this one. Pass up, York, now it's Veal. Force the goaltender out. Veal, pass over, has broke. There's a shot, and it's wrapped up by the goaltender. That was Veal, wrapped up by Gagliard. Norwood trying to clear it out. Nice hop there by Glavin. York to Hasbrouck. Good switch. Up the far side, pass up by Allen. Now Allie Bird trying to get there. Nice, nice turn, great ball. Didn't have many places to go with it. No, it was some very good individual skill there from Allie Bird. She did have somebody cutting. If she just could have chipped it a little higher over the keeper's head. She had Mick there. Laney Mick with the pass up towards Alley Bird. Bird trying to rush in. Yeah. Able to maintain control. Centers it up. And Mick puts it off a Mustang. And it'll go out of play. Nope. Here we go. Hiller's throw in. Broke goes to Lily York with it. Back out. And, and will we have our first corner of the day? Yeah, we do, and it could be trouble because the keeper's got to look right into the sun. Delaney Mick taking it. Uh, I think that was Sullivan. Ah. Well. The sun affecting me too a little bit. <laughs> you are correct, Delaney Mick playing on the near side. Into the box. Gagliard forced out once again. Boy, has she been busy in this first five minutes of the second half. Relentless, Hiller's pressure. There's a pass up by Veal. Bird, some nice moves there. York turns it up. Hiller's doing a good job of keeping the ball pinned down in the uh, in Norwood's defensive end here.
Throw in by Hasbro, and now Norwood trying to break loose. Lagas with the pass up. Pass up by Sullivan looking for Mick. Gagliard comes out and wraps it up. Right to Lily York. Lagasse getting in there. York sends it flying. Norwood throwing. Riley Delaney up to Sullivan. Nice Offsides. pass there. Offsides. Allie Bird had a nice break, but the offsides defers that. Aaron Wagner clears it away. Hiller's coming right back at him. Here comes Delaney <laughs> Mick offsides. <laughs> it's a recurring theme here. Trying to force it in the Hiller's territory. Pass over to Sullivan. Now okay, over to Delaney's Delaney Delaney's onside now. Yeah. I guess she's got two in the middle. She's got two in the middle. There you go. Sets it up. Well Shot. done. Goal. Feel with the goal. Delaney Mick on the assist. And was that Veal? Yeah. And Veal on the goal. The blinding sun. Can't see numbers. I'm going based on ponytail. Take your word for it. Six nothing Hillers, 32 20 left. Why they stopped the clock at this point, no idea. I think you have to get like a 10 goal lead for them not to stop the clock or something like that. Yeah, it's still stopped. <laughs> Hillers in their defensive zone. On the near side, put out a play off of O'Connor. And McCluskey will wrap that one up. She'll go to McCulis with it. Miller's trying to break again in Norwood territory. And they're off. Yep. Allie Bird in the middle. Nice drop off. Bird Good move. With a shot, and it's deflected by Gagliard. Nice save from the keeper. Good footwork from Bird. Pass over by McCulis. Over to the near side. Here comes Bird, offsides. That was a close one, but I don't. the ref's not going to give Hopkinton a, an advantage there, even if it is close. Hiller's up 6-0. Strong leg there. There you go. Nice play, Delaney. Oh, oh, oh. Delaney Mick with a hat trick. Well struck ball. Third, Great one time. Certainly was. Third goal of the day for Delaney Mick. Clock stopped at 30, 26 left to go. I 
I think Delaney mixed day just ended. I think so. The Hillers will get some of the relievers in there. Yeah. Defender going up to play wing. Hasbrook going in right wing. Here comes Hopkinton charging again. Deferred that time. Kulis sends it up towards Hasbrouck. Offsides. Thirty minutes and counting left to go in the second half. Hillers up seven nothing. It's been an impressive, dominant performance so far today. In the Hillers territory here. Good speed from O'Connor. Oh, well taken too, off Norwood. Catherine Lagasse will inbound. Pass up by Vassington, now on the near side. That's Perloff surrounded by Mustangs. Does go out off of Norwood. She's looking for Bird here. And she got her. Bird charging flick in. Flick it, flick it, flick it. Here she goes, shot. In, eight nothing Hillers, Zally Bird. Nice feed from Lagasse. Comes at 28-41 left. And Norwood's gonna take a timeout, talk things over. The Hillers with an eight nothing lead domination here today at Hopkinton High School. It's Hiller Hillers girls varsity soccer on H cam. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. Sometimes my parents have to take me to the hospital. I feel like a fish with no water. You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. Off the timeout, 28-41 left to go in regulation. Eight nothing Hillers. Domination by Hopkinton today. Uh, that one word sums it up from the opening whistle to right now. It's just been all Hopkinton. Yep. Especially Hopkinton's midfield. They're doing a great job of disrupting Norwood's forward movement, recovering the ball, and then bringing it up. This Hiller's team will certainly be a force to be reckoned with in the TVL. But out of play off of Norwood. Siri on the throw -in. And Perloff with a break. Hiller's trying to strike again, Perloff. Yeah, she doesn't have any help in there. And that went in. She put it in. Holy cow. Wow. Pretty much from the end line, she's able to put it in. Nine nothing Hillers. That was impressive. I mean, she had, she had no one helping her and all she did was put it on net and that went in. I thought it was going into the side netting. Yeah, that was impressive. Great angle. And I'll stop the clock at 28.02. I'm sorry, but when it's a 9 nothing game, it drives me nuts when they stop the clock. Keep it going. Especially because we started late. Right. We don't need to see every single minute. <laughs> I'm sure the Hillers would like, like it, though, so they could uh, pad the stats a little bit. 
Take a look at the TVL standings in the large. It's Westwood at two wins, one loss, two ties. Ashland won three and oh. Medfield won two and one. As the Hillers break again, here's Perlov. She had a beauty of a goal for goal number nine and no one there for this one. Norwood won three and oh heading into this game. Halston undefeated three oh and oh. The Hillers were two one and one. Then the TVL small. You got Bellingham at 1-5 and 0, oh, Norton 2-5 and 0, oh, Dover Sherborne 4-0 oh, and 0, oh, Medway 1-2 and 1, Millis 2-1 and 2, and Dedham 3-2 and 1. Norwood trying for a break here, offsides. I, I didn't realize Medway was in the small school. I thought they were in the large school. Look at that, I learned something today. Yeah. Who'd have thunk? <laughs> Some of the sports it would seem they're pretty close. They they could definitely qualify for the large. Typically they're in the small. Has to do with school size overall. Pass up. Hillers might have a opportunity for a break here. Sesnick feeds it over. Pass up by Butler, tracking it down along the far side, Emily Murphy. Sesnick. Siri, and it got by her. Out of play. Siri on the throw in. Sestick was trying to burst through. Siri with the header to keep it in play. Into Hiller's territory. Kluski will take care of it. Approaching 25 minutes left to go in this sec second half. Hillers had five goals within the first 15 minutes of the second half. They lead it nine to nothing and we have a trip along the far side. Free kick Hillers. Airing it out. That was title. Into Hiller's territory. Nicely done by Veal. Good job by Siri coming back to help. Veal trying to get in there. Wrapped up by McCluskey. Sesnick. Back towards McCulis. Kradenmacher puts it back towards Kluski. Pass up by Butler into Norwood territory. Nice ball. Siri trying to track it down. Here comes Norwood. Siri. Siri with good position. Norwood will have a corner. First corner of the day for the Mustangs. Sophia Shalmo will take it. Good corner. Oh, don't turn, don't turn. 
Put out of the box by McCullis. Header by Crowded Marker. Here comes the Hillers. Sesnick leaves it behind. Feel. Good ball. Offside, though. Over towards McCullis. Puts back. Norwood. Trying to get some kind of momentum going. Perloff. Perloff with a nice kick up. Sesnick looking for it. Out of play Norwood. No, Legassi going in to net. So Catherine Legassi will take over for Kristen McCluskey in net. I think McCluskey's going to get a little running time. Throw in Hillers. At a play. Throw in Hopkinton. Siri. Kulis. Pass up there by Butler. Tracked down by Perlov. No. Too long. Yeah. Good idea. Throw in Norwood. We have another ball on the field down in the left corner. Yeah, I might want to get rid of that one. Here comes Norwood. Nope. Denied. That was a good step from title. Along the far side. Getting in there is Sesnick. Pass offsides. up Basket and offsides, yep. These forwards want some goals. Uh, that's a defender. She's wow. getting a taste of her own medicine. That's <laughs> Hasbrook playing wing. Basket with the pass back up towards Sesnick. Comes Norwood. Well, 19 minutes left to play in the second half. Pass over by Vassington. Perlov trying to rush in. Stepping in there was McCullis. Pass over by Butler. Here's Veal. There we go, on side. And tracking it down, Emma Murphy. Murphy trying to set it up. There's a shot deferred away by a defender. Vassington got the foot on it. Siri airs it out. Vassington trying to get in there. Put out a play off of the Hillers. Pass up by Norwood. Mustangs have a break. Here's Donovan. Way to come off the line. 
Grassi getting some cheers from her teammates as she made her first stop of the day. Here comes Norwood once again. Kiel steps in. Bassington. Leaves it for Bakulis. Now Sesnick. Pass up, looking for Perlov. Ava Perlov working the corner. Some good footwork there. Puts it towards Bakulis. Put out a play off of the Hillers. There's Siri. Bassington jumps in there. Sesnick now. Sent up field by Butler. Wrapped up by the goaltender, Heather Gagliard. Perlov. Set up Sesnick, and Gagliard's out. Butler with the pass up, Sesnick. Leaves it behind. There's a pass over to Perlov. Is she gonna take the shot here? She will, and it is wrapped up by Gagliard. Nice, nice D. Yeah, nice D. Well done, done from Aquilas. Well, since the Hillers scored five goals in the first 15 minutes, it's been kind of quiet, Steve. Yep. And um, Hopkins is not taking their foot off the gas. I mean, they, they are trying to are. score more. They're just... Um, well, they're experimenting a yeah. little up nine to nothing. Yeah. Here's Sesnick. Sets Take it up. Shot! Oh! That is... Going to be wrapped up by Gagliard. It went off the crossbar. Went off the crossbar and then hit the keeper and went back. Just didn't have enough backspin to kick into the net. Perlov along the near side. She'll send it flying. This forces Gagliard out. Sesnick. Many Mustangs in the area that time. Tracked down by Veal. She'll give it over to Lagasse. Back to Veal. Bassington with the pass up, looking for Sesnick. Gagliard will clear it away. Tracked down by Vassington. Offsides. Hmm. That one, that whistle shouldn't have gone there. Yeah, I didn't think he was. He was. He was calling Sesnick, but Sesnick wasn't the closest one to the ball. Sesnick was offsides, but Vassington wasn't. Vassington was the one that actually had the clear run to the ball. So. I'm not sure what the ref was thinking there. Unless he just felt bad for Norwood. <laughs> Murphy with a shot. Slow roller closing in. Perlov. And Perlov is able to get in front of the goaltender, but then a number of Mustang defenders jump in. Gagliard was tripped up there, and the net was wide open for a moment. Yeah, it was an error on Gagliard. Veal able to get in front of that one. Veal along the near side, able to keep it away from Ali Steves for Norwood. Good shielding with her body. Ziri over to Butler. Sets 
Sent up field. Perloff trying to get there. Here's Ava Perloff. Sticking with it. Pass over. Perlov racing towards the ball. That's it. Good turn. Siri back to Perlov. Along the near side. That's Siri it. Good ball. In. Yep. That's the right idea. Nagliard will get the hand on it and wrap it up. Approaching 12 minutes left to go in this one. Hiller is going to capture their third win of the season. Improved a 3-1-1 one one, up 9 to nothing. <laughs> As Brock offsides again. Well, I think when you're looking at the TVLR, it's going to come down to the Hillers, Westwood, Holliston. Austin's still undefeated. They got a big battle with the Hillers next week. Sent away by the goalkeeper. Pass up off of Steves. Butler sends it over to Sesnick. There's a race. There's Murphy trying to get in there. There's a shot, and Gagliard ready for it. Nice strike from Hasbrook. No, that was Hasbrook, excuse me. No, that was Murphy, number four, I thought. Am I wrong, Steve? <laughs> yeah, it was Murphy. Here we go. Another opportunity here. Right at Gagliard goes Perloff. You could see better than me through the sun, so. But that was Murphy playing that far side. Yeah, you can't. These white numbers with this glare is. Yeah, it's it's not a helpful. Tough. So I'm actually going by ponytails. <laughs> That's the way to do it. A couple substitutions for both sides. Riley Delaney will come back in and get some work for Meredith Sesnick, who had a great game. She had a goal, the fourth goal of the game. Less than 10 minutes left to play. Hiller's maintaining control, Siri. Out of play, Norwood throwing. And the entry, Moave O'Connor. Hopka to take quick to take back control. Pass up field there by Wagner for Norwood. Gossie clears it away. Sent up by Butler. It's a foot race now. Turn over here. Yep, here's Vassington with the pass up. She was looking for Riley Delaney. Out in front, and it's scooped up by Gagliard. Oh, this, this could. Yeah, Riley Delaney. And it's deflected away. Out on Norwood, throwing towards the corner for the Hillers. Gabriella Siri will take it. Cleared up field by Kradenmacher. Here's McCullis. A 
that's it. Settle it down. Gassi will take care of it. Goes towards Siri. Now Michaelis back to Siri. Put out of play. Nice oh. double team there from the Hillers. Hillers yeah. throwing. Over to, towards Perlov. Leaves it behind for Vassington. And now here's Riley Delaney. Rushing in, shot, goal! Riley Delaney. Riley Delaney getting an opportunity here at forward and she makes it 10 to nothing. Nice calm finish from the defender. 6.52 left to go. Six goals in the second half by the Ailers. The far side out of play off of Norwood. Throwing Hopkinton over to Riley Delaney. Does she have a break again? Good move there. Sent back. Back towards Delaney and she'll pass down. Good ball movement. Build it up again. Here's Perloff. She's looking for a shot. She'll take it. Scooped up. Less than six minutes left to go. Pure domination by the Hillers, up 10 to nothing. Out of play along the near side. Throw in Hopkinton. Siri. Pass Perlov. Out on Norwood. Kulis, Hiller is working it around the defensive zone. Throw in Norwood. will have the entry. Nice pass up by Butler. And of course, Gagliard out of the net. Butler sends it up. Gagliard will get rid of it. Good pass there by McCullis. Sends it up towards Perlov. Perlov with some good footwork. Trying to center it up. We'll get in there now for a shot and Gagliard wraps it up. Eva Perlov had the ninth goal of this 10 goal performance for the Hillers. On the far side. Riley Delaney closing in. Could be trouble here. No, nope. mishandled by the defender. But there was good communication there with the goalie.
Norwood trying to work it out of their territory. Orgasi comes out. Butler. Over to Siri. Out in front. And wrapped up by Gagliard. Must be down to about, <clears throat> excuse me, the final two or three minutes. Clock stopped at five. Yeah. Official did check his watch there. Can't imagine they'll uh, include much stoppage time in this one. Throwing Hillers. I think once a team has eight goals, they should just stop the game. Yeah. <laughs> once it's Almost a, like the mercy rule what, in, right. in softball or little league. Once it's an eight goal lead. Norwood will get rid of it. It was good to see Hopkinton come out aggressive right from the opening whistle because this had the potential to be a trap game for them. And that is going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers take this one 10 to nothing over the Norwood Mustangs. A dominant performance today, Steve. Really was. Girls from the opening whistle to the end, they just, you like to see it because they didn't let their foot up. They just maintained uh, pure aggression the entire game. It was wonderful to watch. Great all-around performance out there. The Hopkins and Hillers now 3-1-1 one one on the season. Norwood falls to 1-4-0. Oh, the final score for the final time. The Hopkins and Hillers take down the Norwood Mustangs 10 to nothing. For John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner Steve Sweetapple. I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Hopkins and Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer on H-Camp. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon.